Hey guys, so um, this is actually, um, I'm just doing this real quick. Um, always be ready, I just did a video that I watched um, about the rubber balls in the burner. And I actually happen, actually happen to have some of the exact same ones that he was uh, testing there shooting. So I figured I would kind of make a response to that and let him and all you guys see the performance on them as well. Um, he was he was showing that they cycle good and everything in the burner, um, which I totally agree. I've had no problem cycling these in the burnout whatsoever. So uh, I'm gonna get some uh, ratings for you guys while we're at it. Um, so these are these are the rubber balls. Now these are not the steel rubber balls. These are the ones like like that he was using in in his video. So load those puppies up, and I tell you what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, check the, the other ones too while we're at it. Oh. Euromax. Yay. <laughs> Marine Rebel uh, sold me over to the Euromax. He always uses it. I mean, that's it's what most of my stuff is. Might as well. I had a lot of crossbow stuff though before before I realized it made a difference. Okay, so mag loaded, cylinder loaded. Helps to put it in the right way. Let's go to the crowd. All right, here's what we got. Of course, we're doing this kind of point, point blank ish. So, uh, and that is not ball catcher 2.0. Um, <laughs> you guys will probably see what I'm talking about very soon. I've got a, I just did a video, uh, or actually I just recorded a video. Um, i am got to do some editing and stuff, but, uh, got one coming for you guys. I think you're going to like, and it's not a burner and it does involve fruit. So there you go. Anyway, here we go. Let's see. Pierce the cylinder. Okay, nothing apparently. Oh, I don't have my light on, sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> 240. <laughs> 250. <laughs> 234. All right, I'm gonna let it set for just a second and check out that 250. Okay, so I got 10.1 uh, joules of that. All right, sorry about that delay. So we're gonna pick his puppy up, fire a couple more. <coughs> 240. All right, so yeah, so right in there, you know, 240, 250, whatever. Um, so 10.1 joules, and what I'm gonna do is <coughs> now, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do some of the, the rubber steel balls. These are actually heavier, and, and what I was part part of what I was wanting to do is to to say that hey, these work really well too, um, as far as rubber balls. But these are actually heavier. Um, let me weigh one of these real quick. The other is like three point five. These are six point nine. So six point nine. Um, I've never had a problem cycling these either. If you, I, I personally like the the harder like the uh, Canada Riot balls, but you know, I do like shooting the rubber balls just for the heck of it, but <clears throat> I don't really carry them, but apparently they do leave a heck of a wilt though. <laughs> if Ballistic Joel can ever get out of quarantine long enough, we'll find out. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that, uh, all right, so that was 248. Now that's significant, guys. And I'm, I seriously, I had no idea. I've, I've not really even checked these things against each other or whatever. 
But, uh, you know, we're what, uh, five, six shots in, and that hit 248, which was second highest number I think that we've got. Definitely, you know, up there the same, and we're dealing with a way heavier ball. So, hypothetically, let's say that, uh, let's say that holds true. So, hold on. Okay, so that's 19 joules. That is 19 joules. That's a, I, I mean, I knew it was going to be a heck of a lot more, but let, let's see. Let's fire a couple more and see. But holy Hannah, uh, that's double, double the energy transferring there. Oh, yeah, cut the safety off. Ah, 181. That makes more sense. One seventy four. I'm wondering if I didn't get one of the. Uh, uh, I'm wondering if I didn't accidentally have one of the other ones in there still because that that didn't make a whole lot of sense. So. Right. So yeah, that's what's happened. <laughs> Sorry, I got y'all excited for nothing. But uh, but still, let's uh, let's see what do we get. One eighty four. This one, 181, okay. So let's see what that is. Okay, so that's 10.3, so hey, you know, no, no big difference. Um, I, I would think these might do a, a touch better, but, uh, you know, like I say, we're, we're getting cool and several shots in and all that jazz, but yeah, still, you know, these, these cycle well, these are definitely heavier. Um, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one of the light ones. That's what's happened. I've actually got a couple of the, uh, the light ones in my, my little tub here. So, hmm, interesting. Should pay more attention. Probably not going to be using these for like sniper activities or anything where the uh, weight of the ball would drastically mess with anything. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's shoot a couple more. 175. Here. 145. 145. 153. All right. So anyway, there you go. There's uh, just kind of some feet per second on uh, the the ones that uh, always be uh, always be ready was talking about, and uh, then another another option similar uh, feeds just as well, heavier, a little heavier ball, but uh, they they feel about the same. Uh, it's uh, not weight wise, but as far as like smoothness goes. Now what what I was talking about in my comment on uh, always be ready's post. Here, you guys or whatever saw that. Um, these are actually what I was using to tune the burner, and it was just because I had like a really big surplus of them, and I just wanted to, I wanted to prove that that the screw on the back did something, so I wanted to keep the same kind of ammo, and I, I had a whole bunch of these, so I just used these throughout the whole test to you know show the progression, which the progression was there, y'all know that, <laughs> good times. Um, but anyway, uh, also these. Orange ones and blue ones and yeah, the blue ones when we that's what I was using. They were just a touch lighter. Um and these are like I think 2.7 if I remember correctly. These these are all lighter than the uh any of the other two we're talking about. Uh in the M17 you might as well just throw them away as to try to use them in there. That it pretty much cuts them in half. Um well not in half, but it cuts a chunk out of them. But anyway, um I definitely don't like those for the burner. Uh, I do like the uh, the rubber balls from T4E, uh, you know, for shooting or whatever. Uh, and I do like the steel rubber balls as well. Um, personally, don't really carry carry it with those in there, but but they have definitely pack enough of a punch and probably would uh, do the job just as good as a lot of the other stuff. 